So when greasing the hammer, it's very important to select the right type of grease. You want to be using cat hammer paste. Cat hammer paste is like a high temp anti-seize. It's there to protect the tool and the bushings from the high heats that are seen inside the uh, hammer. If you use any other type of grease, like a molly or multi-purpose type of grease, you probably end up with premature failure of your tools and your bushings. As with all of our hammers, it's very important to grease the hammers with cat hammer paste. And on the larger hammers, there's three ways to accomplish this. One is through manually greasing through these po two ports here. Another is through an onboard hammer auto lube system like you see here. And the third could be a carrier mounted system. All three of those systems are adequate enough to deliver hammer paste to the hammer. And you always want to make sure that you verify that there's enough grease below the lower bushing. So no matter what type of greasing system you use, it's very important to verify that a grease collar is always visible below the lower bushing. This tells you that no matter what system you're using that you're getting enough grease to the lower bushing into the tool. So when you're manually greasing the hammer, you want to make sure there's downforce on the tool and the tool is seated up in the hammer. This way when you're greasing the hammer, the hammer paste will go around the tool, around the bushing, and not get on top of the tool and possibly cause a hammer failure.